Okay, after numerous protracted releases and never-ending disappointment, we can finally close the book on this season of controversy. You're probably wondering, no you aren't, how I splinter these episodes into... seasons, and why I even do it like that in the first place. Well, respectively, if there are any major changes made to the show in between episodes, uh, yeah, that's a good enough point to split them into seasons. And, fuck you, I'll do what I want. As for what changes be arriving here on the spot, Holmes, I updated the thumbnails, all the thumbnails, and in bigger news, I'm announcing the retirement of this face, the Crazy Even version 2.0. It's had a good run, and I'm grateful to the artist who did it, but it's time to move on. So, away with the peasants. Come, slaves, bring in the new version. Ah, how magnificent. Such a change, I know. And here's the artist who did it as well. Anyway, as per usual, we'll be spending the rest of the video stroking my big, fat, elongated ego and self-indulging myself blind by looking at what I consider the best moments of this past season. Yeah, 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 I'm in full narcissist mode here, but at least I don't make these kinds of videos the core of what my channel is, and at least it's not a compilation of someone else's content. Not calling out anyone specific here, more like everyone on this hellhole of a platform who does that. It's one of the easiest ways to get shit tons of views and subs with little to no effort, because who gives a shit about that these days? So thanks for contributing to the cesspool, your worthless hacks. But if you want to make a compilation of my stuff, though, feel free, knock yourself out. If they answer correctly, they get the right to tell their parents that their college savings fund wasn't a complete waste. And if they answer incorrectly, they have to do the exact opposite. One, two, three! Now, having never played Banjo-Kazooie... Uh, oh, great. Everyone left. Well, fuck it then, let's just talk about Zero Escape again. So, yeah, yeah, that la that last game though, uh, yeah, I, I still like it, uh, but, um, uh, honestly, uh, in retrospect, it probably isn't that cool. But at least Congress look like even bigger morons, where they did this whole show and dance about how bad them video games are, and then doomed to fight all those standards and not even 24 hours later. Ugh, God bless you, Doom. Oh, wait, never mind, I forgot where you were for a second. What the fuck is a persona anyway? Is, is, that, is that like a sex thing? I bet if someone modded furries into the game, you'd call it Fursona 5, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Rape is something that's been covered on this show a few times already. And going back to those videos, I think I can say with confidence that I covered the topic rather maturely. The lady is actually smiling. Yeah, smiling. Who smiles when they're getting raped? That's like frowning when you get a life achievement award for the best idea in history. Um, except for that part. In case you couldn't get enough of the exciting and often thrilling showpiece that is surely the next best game to be featured in EVO. Uh, I don't know what's going on. All right. They forced Id to get rid of all the blid, I mean blood. Needless to say, Id hit another hit at, uh, uh, wait. It had another hit on its hands. There we go, why the hell do I keep doing that? And aside from some anger from Nintendo fans, ranging from completely reasonable to what the hell are you on and can I please have some, said consumers were also not pleased at all with the situation, taking to internet forums and likewise to mock the company, Daikatana, Ramiro, Ramiro's ego, Ramiro's hair, Ramiro's death, a uh, fake death I should say, Jeez, I'm not gonna turn this into one of those X died and was replaced by a lookalike copy pastas. I've been wanting to do this for almost two years now. This bingo card's been unfulfilled for too long. So, what is a man to do after losing a big chunk of your development team for the game that now has to be the second coming of Christ in order to appease your rabid audience and investors? Hire your romantic partner as a level designer. Oh dear. Unless you find a bunch of people giving really stupid answers to easy as hell questions the peak of comedy. How many letters are in the English alphabet? 28! Then there are the xenophobia claims, which deal with how the only ethnic group put in a somewhat positive light are the Czechs, and everyone else are violent scumbags that need to be eradicated by you. Oh jeez. They might actually be right about this. We can't let the people in 1403 be influenced by this game. As the present leader of Bohemia, I refuse to let it happen. Quickly, Jeeves, get the cavalry. We're going to war. 
So anyways, the gamers playing Quake 2 were all like, what? And when Ramiro saw it in action, he was like, what? And when he realized he had no shot of competing against that unless he used that engine too, he was like, what? And when he pitched the idea of moving Daikatana to the Quake 2 engine to his development team, they were like, what? And when he kicked John Carmack's ass in a Quake deathmatch at E3, he was like, what? And wait, what was that last part? Some developers even went as far to change the names of some of these kinds of games that had already been released to something a little bit more clean. Like for example, you originally had Slave Maiden's Rape Hell, and now you have Young Girl's Prison. I'm sorry, how is that supposed to be cleaner than the original title? Oh, and also, Slave Maiden's Rape Hell? Is that even a thing? Oh. Wow, the dice game. That's a good name there. Aw, oh, sick promo pig, dude. Man, I should get some six-year-old to do some concept art for my Kickstarter, too. This is a simple fantasy-themed tabletop RPG using a D6 system. The goal of the game is to defeat the final boss, put simply. I don't know, it doesn't sound so simple to me, dude. I think you're underestimating this a bit. Risks and challenges. The biggest risk and challenge is me completing this game on my own. This is my first go at it and it will most likely have its bumps along the way. I'm prepared to see this to the end though. I also have a few people willing to help. But wait, didn't you say- Oh hey YouTube! The game! An RPG game where you, as a socially awkward teenager, had to pay for your dad's brain operation by making YouTube videos. Oh dear. This guy doesn't know about the apocalypse, does he? Life! A story about fear and death. I don't think that's what life is. A survival horror game inspired by games like Silent Hill and a low poly style. Man, these guys are so spooked about this game, they forgot to capitalize the H in Hill. Oh, look at this. If you pledge $300 or more, you get a special thank email, exclusive wallpaper with a dedication for you, a DRM free copy of life, your name it. Wait, DRM free? What, are you putting Securom in this thing? Who the hell uses DRM in 2017? Are you fucking cr Jesus Christ. 35 episodes and three and a half years of this piece of shit YouTube show, and I never even noticed I've been living a lie the whole time. There's no other explanation. This is all they're doing. The truth is out there, you sheeple. It's out in the open, and you're not noticing. If you don't take this opportunity now, you'll never get another chance again. You fools are living a lie! A lie that feeds off of your hatred from all the stupid shit that's happened over these worthless and wasteful years. Wake up, you stupid <laughs> bastards! Wake up! Consume the bleach of knowledge! Let the glory free your minds from this cruel reality! Drink the bleach, you fuckers! Drink it! Drink it! Drink it now! Drink it now! Ow, 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 ow,